Welcome to the official Global RPH YouTube channel. We're thrilled to have you here. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our latest videos. Whether you're here for medical insights, the latest healthcare trends, or just some educational fun, we've got something for everyone. So stick around and join our growing community. There's always something new and exciting just around the corner. This video presents a review of Autistic Spectrum Disorders, ASD. It explores the definition, characteristics, diagnosis, and treatment of ASD. The review also discusses the current understanding of ASD causes, the impact on individuals and families, and the latest research in the field. The video aims to provide a clear and accessible overview of ASD for families and others interested in the topic. A quick introduction. Autistic spectrum disorders are a group of developmental disorders that affect how people communicate, interact, and behave. This review aims to provide a thorough understanding of ASD, including its history, current research, and future directions. What is Autistic Spectrum Disorder? Autistic Spectrum Disorder is a term that covers a range of conditions, including autism and Asperger's syndrome. People with ASD may have the following. Difficulty with social communication and interaction, repetitive behaviors or interests, sensitivity to sensory inputs like light, sound, or touch. It's important to note that ASD is a spectrum, meaning that it affects people differently and to varying degrees. History of ASD. The understanding of ASD has changed considerably over time. In the 1940s, Leo Kanner first described autism in children. In the 1980s, autism was recognized as a separate diagnosis in the DSM-3. In the 90s, Asperger's syndrome was added to the DSM-4. In 2013, the DSM-5 combined autism, Asperger's, and other related conditions under the umbrella term ASD. Common characteristics of ASD include the following, social communication difficulties, trouble understanding social cues, difficulty maintaining conversations, limited eye contact, repetitive behaviors, repeating words or phrases, echolalia, strict adherence to routines, intense focus on specific interests, sensory sensitivities, oversensitivity to sounds, lights, or textures, Undersensitivity to pain or temperature. Other features include delayed language development, difficulty with abstract concepts, excellent memory for facts and details, examination of the causes of ASD. The exact causes are not fully understood, but research suggests a combination of factors. Genetic factors. Studies show that ASD can run in families. Certain genetic mutations may increase the risk. Environmental factors advanced parental age, complications during pregnancy or birth, exposure to certain chemicals or medications, brain differences, differences in brain structure and function have been observed in individuals with ASD. It's important to note that vaccines do not cause ASD. This myth has been thoroughly debunked by numerous scientific studies. Diagnosing ASD can be complex and typically involves developmental screening, Pediatricians screen children for developmental delays during regular checkups. Comprehensive diagnostic evaluation may include medical tests, hearing and vision screening, and genetic testing. Observation of the child's behavior and interactions. Interviews with parents or caregivers. Use of diagnostic tools. Tools include the Autism Diagnostic Observation Schedule. This tool is used by clinicians to help diagnose autism spectrum disorder by observing a person's social interaction, communication, and play behaviors during a semi-structured play-based session, considered a gold standard for autism diagnosis. Another tool used is the Autism Diagnostic Interview Revised, ADIR, which is a semi-structured interview that helps assess whether someone has autism spectrum disorder. It's often used by clinicians and researchers. Early diagnosis is crucial for providing appropriate support and interventions, treatment and interventions. While there is no cure for ASD, various treatments and interventions can help manage symptoms and improve quality of life. Behavioral therapies include Applied Behavior Analysis, ABA, and Cognitive Behavioral Therapy, CBT. Educational interventions include Special Education Programs, Individualized Education Plans, IEPs, Speech and language therapy, which help improve communication skills. Occupational therapy can assist with daily living skills and sensory integration. Social skills training can help teach appropriate social behaviors and interactions. 
medications may be prescribed to manage specific symptoms like anxiety or hyperactivity. Alternative therapies. Some families find benefits in therapies like music or art therapy. It's important to note that treatment plans should be individualized to meet the specific needs of each person with ASD. ASD can have a profound impact on both individuals and their families. For individuals with ASD, there are challenges in education and employment, difficulties in forming relationships, increased risk of mental health issues like anxiety and depression. For families, there is increased stress and financial burden, need for ongoing support and advocacy, potential strain on relationships. However, many individuals with ASD and their families also report positive experiences, such as unique perspectives and talents associated with ASD. Current research and future directions. Research in ASD is ongoing and focuses on several areas. Genetics, identifying specific genes associated with ASD, understanding how genes interact with environmental factors. Brain imaging, studying brain structure and function in individuals with ASD. Early detection, developing tools for earlier diagnosis. Interventions, testing new therapies and interventions, improving existing treatments. Adult outcomes, studying long-term outcomes for adults with ASD. Future research may lead to better understanding, earlier diagnosis, and more effective treatments for ASD. Several challenges and controversies exist in the field of ASD. Diagnostic criteria. There is debate over the broadening of diagnostic criteria. Neurodiversity movement. Some advocate for accepting ASD as a difference rather than a disorder. Treatment approaches. There are disagreements over the most effective interventions. Adult services, limited resources and support for adults with ASD. Representation in research. There is a need for more diverse representation in ASD studies. Conclusion, autistic spectrum disorders are complex conditions that affect individuals in various ways. While significant progress has been made in understanding and treating ASD, many questions remain. Continued research and support are essential to improve outcomes for individuals with ASD and their families. Thank you for watching our Global RPH production. If you found it enjoyable and informative, please consider liking the video and subscribing to our brand new YouTube channel. Our content spans a wide range of topics designed to appeal to a diverse audience, ensuring there's always something fresh and engaging for everyone. Your support helps us grow and continue to provide interesting and valuable content. Stay tuned for more exciting videos.